Aloha, welcome to the APP headquarters here in Ericeira, Portugal, where I'm coming to you from a quarantine situation here. Obviously, much of Europe now under a state of emergency due to the rapid spread of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, an incredible uh, chain of events over the last few months that have seen organizers from all over the world, from all federations, having to evaluate how to uh, deal with cancellations, postponements, uh, many leagues pushing back to next year and figuring out ways to get around uh, the current situation that we're all facing. Uh, after much discussion with organizers, with uh, tour partners and event partners, we've decided to cancel the first two events of the season. So that's Pornichet France and Maui Hawaii, uh, which would have been in end of June and early July. Um, for the reasons that obviously everything is still so unknown, even if this uh, can get cleared up really quickly, the after effects will take a little bit more time uh, to to get resolved. So all organizers and uh, partners felt that it was better at this stage to readjust uh, the 2020 season and start clean and in Osaka at the end of September, pushing back the start of the season to our third, what would have been our third event of the year in Osaka, Japan, which will now become the world tour opener for racing. Uh, and that'll be the 25th to the 27th of September. With all indicators showing that the summer months, everything should start to come down. Hopefully things start to come back to normal. Travel becomes feasible again. and We can really start off for a great season, uh, a shortened season of three events in September. What this would mean also is that we would then go on to Grand Canaria. And then instead of it just being a surf sprint race over there, we'll be expanding it to include distance racing too. Uh, and then finishing on a high, obviously in Paris with the indoor sprints and the race down the river stand. So it'll be three distance races, three sprint races. For the athletes, there'll be no discards, which means all three events will count in their entirety. Um, so it'll be an exciting year. Um, no room for any errors and, uh, and a battle for the finish to see who comes out on top. But we're comfortable that it will provide a legitimate platform for the professional athletes to battle it out for a world title and making the most of uh, really exceptional circumstances this year that we've had to face. Uh, with regards to the surfing tour, uh, fortunately, later start of the season starting in october here in portugal um, we feel that at this stage it, it looks very comfortable that we should be able to start at that time obviously for both racing and surfing we'll be monitoring closely um, but it should be another great season there again with three events no discards starting in portugal in october heading on to barbados in november and ending up uh, with the final as usual in las palmas de gran canaria at the end of november uh, and then beyond that, we will be ramping up all our media outputs over the next few months. We've had a series uh, in the planning for a couple of months now. We're looking forward to launch that over the coming few weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that at appworldtour.com and, of course, across our social media network. Um, and obviously, through this time of, of no events, we'll be ramping up the content anyway, uh, making sure that uh, plenty of your, your favorite uh, athletes on tour and, and we can really provide some entertainment through these difficult months. So from all of us here at the APP, please stay, stay safe out, out there in the world. Um, obviously heed all, all the warnings that are going out from all your local governments, local health providers. You know, it is a, a scary time right now, um, but we will persevere and uh, we can look forward to a phenomenal season here on the APP World Tour, starting once again uh, in Osaka, Japan at the end of September. We look forward to seeing you all there. And in the meantime, a big aloha from all of us here at the APP World Tour.